Hello everyone, I'm uh, continuing on with my Start Off the Day Right series. Uh, this is for June the 4th, 2021. Uh, I explained that I start my day off with a quote, with a story, and a scripture, and I'm going to provide them for you, hopefully about two minutes. It says, the quote is, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. That was Helen Keller. Stories. Will Rogers was known for his laughter, but he also knew how to weep. One day he was entertaining at Milton H. Berry Institute in Los Angeles, a hospital that specialized in rehabilitating polio victims and with people with broken back, backs and other extreme physical handicaps. Of course, Rogers had everybody laughing, even the patients in really bad condition. But then he suddenly left the platform and went to the restroom. Milton Berry followed him to give him a towel, and when he opened the door, he saw Will Rogers leaning against the wall, sobbing like a child. He closed the door, and in a few minutes, Rogers appeared back at the platform as jovial as before. If you want to learn what a person is really like, ask three questions. What makes him laugh? What makes him angry? What makes him weep? These are fairly good tests of character. They are especially appropriate for Christian leaders. I hear people saying we need angry leaders today or the time has come to practice militant Christianity. Perhaps that the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. What we really need today is not anger, but anguish. The type of anguish that Moses displayed when he broke the two tablets of law and then climbed the mountain to intercede for his people. Or that Jesus displayed when he cleansed the temper and wept over the city. The difference between anger and anguish is a broken heart. It is easy to get anger, angry, especially at someone else's uh, mistakes, but it's not easy to look at our mistakes, our own included, and weep over it. And that was Warren, W-I-E-R-S-B-E. -E. Uh, and my scripture is Proverbs 24, 6 through 10. And it says, For by wise counsel thou shalt make war, and in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth not his mouth in the gaze. He that despises to do evil shall be called a mischievous person. The thought of foolishness is a, is a scorner is an abomination. The thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abomination to men. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. This is uh, my day, uh, Start Your Day series. And uh, I'm going to come to you every day that I can, and it's going to be about three minutes, and I'm going to try to keep them that length or, or, or shorter. May God bless you.